All right, boys, so got the car switched around so I can work on this thing and uh, sweeped out the garage and was letting the lightning warm up while I had everything out. And dear God, this thing without any exhaust, just headers is ridiculous. I'm scared. I think the GoPro's scared too. Last time I tried to record it, it just peaked the audio and Oh God. I'm gonna try and record it, drive it a little bit. It's really loud. All right, boys, we're gonna take it for a quick, quick rip here. It's uh, it's extremely loud. And also the O2 sensor is hanging on by some few threads. I'll probably explain that in a different video, but we fucking ruined the threads on the old O2 sensor, so we got a new one that came in today. Um, pulling it out of the shitty old headers, they were all rusted and it just shredded them. So we got a new O2 sensor, but it just came in and I half stuck this one in there. Uh, just temporary, I kind of cleaned the thread. They're not sealing well, so I don't know how it'll run, but the thing sounds, sounds like it's ready for some some grudge racing on the street, some street outlaw style, eh? shit boys I should have known that was gonna be real bad it didn't even want to run hardly look at this thing <laughs> I tried to stick it back at least it's good enough to pull it in and out of the garage shit but those threads are just here let's see if I can pull it out just chaseled I mean that's funny Woo! There's like one thread now. But anyways, I'll leave her there and pull it in or out of the garage. But well, we tried. Open headers, we tried. Alrighty, boys, we got this uh, back side of the exhaust all propped up here. Headers in, everything's intact on the truck. I haven't touched anything disassembled it what have you yet but um so here's what we gotta make new since the headers are in a new position from there back past the cross member and then back to the existing exhaust here and this side too um i don't know if this uh range sensor range sensor is i'm assuming it's probably good to keep heat away from it so with that in mind I really don't like how close this exhaust turned out to it um, I think I'm gonna cut the collector back further towards that exhaust bone and um, we're gonna see if we can you know make a bend before it gets to that range sensor to just give it a couple inches you know um, kind of bend around that a little bit and uh, keep the heat down um, but uh, 
yeah, we're going to get started fabric cobbling this thing together. Hopefully, oh, going to be learning learning experience for sure on the on the TIG. But uh, um, that being said, I'll obviously pull everything to final weld it, and I might just tack it in the in the car, um, and then obviously pull everything, even the headers. So that means in order to pull the headers, in order to get a nice bead around the. Um, collectors there um, so yeah I guess I'll start by pulling this uh, driver side header here since uh, I need to cut the collector down and then I did kind of attack this flange on so I'll knock that off and uh, weld it further back and then we'll go through the process of building this exhaust I'm gonna stab this back in of course we just got it tacked for now uh, with the MIG welder uh, we'll come back and clean those up and uh, hit that with the uh, the TIG, which uh, let me um, reiterate, this will be my first time using this machine. So uh, I've got a bunch of different wires, some steel wire, some wire, or I'm completely using the wrong terminology. This is rod, I guess, since it's for a TIG. So we got just your regular 70S2 for uh, steel. We got a 309L. For stainless to mild steel, and then we got a uh, 308L for uh, stainless. So these are all in 33 30 seconds um, diameter. Should be good for the the, ga the gapage that I'm doing. And then we got a uh, 3 30 seconds tungsten electrode here. Um, what is this lathinated? 1.5%. I think you can get that in like a 2% or something, but uh, as far as I can tell research-wise, that's uh, that's the correct shit for what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, this uh, I'll have to go through and set this up, um, do a little research and what have you, but um, hopefully tonight we'll um, get the first rip on the uh, on the TIG welder there, but uh, for now I'm going to stab this header back in and then um, maybe play around with some scrap stainless uh, tubing. Holy shit boys, I got uh, machine shit, shit up. Got it set up as best I can here. Um, spent hours researching what to do, but uh, of course that's no good unless you do it. So I'm going to give it a try, but fuck it, let's just uh, give her. Well, definitely a learning process here. I wonder if I need more chooch. <laughs> not any penetration so I don't know if we need more chooch or what but it's not really getting hot enough it looks like and I feel like I'm leaving based on what I've seen online I'm really letting that to uh, letting the torch tip just hang out in the same spot I see a lot of guys where they just move really quick so I don't know might need to take a break J.O. and see what the fuck I'm doing here, but, um, shit. Take 690.69. Whoa, 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 whoa.
right, boys. We got her tacked up with the uh, MIG from underneath the vehicle and a uh, little gapage there that was on the top, so it was hard to see. Should be able to fill it though. But uh, there's our mid pipe, if you will, um, all tacked together. So all I've done on the TIG practice so far is this thing, but um, I'm just going to dive right into it. So we freaking see how it goes. Um, gosh, polished stainless is some of the most beautiful shit. Makes me second guess my practicing. Maybe I should do some more. Don't want to ruin the the butte, eh? We'll see. All right, we're back at it. I uh, originally started on the flange portion um, and then decided I would start somewhere else because it was burning a hole through the thin pipe and not heating the uh, flange up enough since it's much, much thicker. So I need to figure out that. Maybe I'll do some research, but. I started out on this some, somewhere in, right in here, you can see, so I was trying to figure out what my problem was right there when I started out. Um, I, I think it's oxygen contamination. Basically I uh, leak searched all the hoses and stuff, um, found a little leak at the um, regulator. And then also reduced the uh, stick out of my tungsten, and um, then it uh, turned into some a little bit too much heat there. Then we got some inconsistent, but not contaminated. It seems, as far as I can tell. So that's better. Not too bad for the first go, but uh, definitely a big, big bead. Um, I need to try and figure out maybe how to um, close in the heat or the, the arc gap, but uh, and see if I can get that bead in a little bit tighter. So we'll uh, give it another go. Alrighty then, boys. We are uh, rocking and rolling somewhat here. Uh, been practicing on some nonsense, uh, and the uh, consistency is getting a lot better as far as the puddle consistency and size and heat um, but it's still uh, it's still not shiny like some of the TIG, stainless steel TIG welds I see on the on the net but uh, I think it'll it'll do just fine I'm gonna treat this as a as the learning curve and uh, hopefully get better uh, on the other side um, just don't really want to spend a whole lot of time practicing on uh, random pieces. Uh, I just want to get this thing back on the road. I did just make another successful step forward here. Um, I finally got this thing to communicate here. Uh, I had to buy a new uh, serial port adapter or USB to serial for this ancient uh, ancient fast technology here. Um, but uh, we uploaded the option file finally for the um, O2 sensor now that I got a, an adapter that actually um, works. So, um, and we have the option file that we've been waiting on too, so that's freaking sweet. Hopefully the uh, new the new O2 sensor will um, just plug right in no problem and run the way it did before, which would be awesome, and I wouldn't need any other tuning, but... Uh, I guess the uh, they discontinued that old O2 sensor and and uh, so this option file you need. Alrighty, boys, this piece is that the hot end? No, this piece is done so And I definitely saw some improvement. That would be some of the beginning welds right there. And then this little spot. Look at that. My last weld. Not too shabby. I mean, it's not great, but you know, improvements about all you can ask for. So, anyways, getting ready to weld these uh, flanges on. I did buy all stainless steel flanges. Um, probably a little bit of an oversight since these are steel, but 
Um, I'm going to try using this uh, 309 supposedly will we'll made up those two so I'm going to give that a rip see how she teaches. Give this a saunt my boys. Definitely getting better. That ain't tea bang. That ain't tea bang. I'm just uh, grinding these off the face kind of near where the bolts are going to go because it's real hard to keep this TIG bead away from the where the bolt flange is going to be. So just clearing some just a little bit so that the bolt will sit flush. I'm going to do it to this one too, but uh, this one was my most recent weld and it turned out pretty awesome. It's definitely a lot of fun to see the improvement there, but uh, stuff fun freaking stuff